In your high school career, you worked with single numbers. X, pairs, X, Y, and triplets, X, Y, Z. However, we do not need to limit ourselves to just one, two, or three components. In this course, we will generalize to N components. Most of the time, we will prop these N tuples as columns. An N-dimensional column vector is an N tuple where V1, V2, and Vn are real numbers. By convention, variables with an overhead arrow will denote vectors. Moreover, given a vector x will denote its ith component by xi. Thus, x1, x3, x7 will represent the first, third, and seventh components of x respectively. Algebraically, we can add and subtract vectors of the same size and scale vectors by a constant. For the cases n equal 1, 2, 3, you can visualize vectors geometrically as points in space or directed arrows from the origin. But how do you visualize the case n equals 4 or higher? I've heard some physics mumbo jumbo are visualizing four or higher spatial dimensions. I really don't get it. If you can see in 4D, then you're too gifted to be taking undergraduate math. Regardless, there are many ways you can interpret n-dimensional vectors. For example, x equals 200, 300, 400, 5 can represent a particle, 200, 300, 400, at a time 5. But we can also interpret the same vector as a coloured point on the number line. Therefore, treat vectors as purely algebraic objects and leave the interpretation to the context.